somewhere around 6,000 to 7,000 years after mammoths disappeared from Siberia, Beringia, and North America, and a few hundred years after the ancient Egyptians built the Great Pyramid at Giza. It happened quickly. New evidence may finally explain what happened to these stubborn holdouts. Research published in Quaternary Science Reviews on the last population of woolly mammoths and the possible reasons for their extinction. Chemical analysis suggests that the mammoths in the shape of Wrangell Island, when they finally disappeared some 4,000 years ago, and therefore, unlikely reason for their extinction. Rather, the new research led by Laura ARPPE from the University of Helsinki suggests that prolonged isolation on the island made the mammoths genetically weak, making them vulnerable to extreme weather. Other factors, such as poor access to fresh water and human predation, were cited as other possible reasons for their demise. During their impressive reign, woolly mammoths occupied a territory extending from Spain to Beringia and into North America. Mammoths thrived for hundreds of thousands of years. But something changed between 15,000 and 10,000 years ago that led to their extinction. Scientists are in agreement as to why mammoths went extinct, but the end of the last ice age and the resulting loss of habitat plus humans probably had a lot to do with it. By around 10,000 years ago, the mammoths were gone. Paul Island off the southwest coast of Alaska and one on Wrangell Island in the Arctic Ocean off the northeast coast of Siberia. Incredibly, these mammoths who were stranded by rising seawaters, survived for thousands of years, but they died too. The mammoths on St. Paul was gone by 5,400 years ago. And the population on Wrangell wrapped things up around 4,000 years ago. And that was it. The woolly mammoths were officially done. That mammoths were still around on Wrangell Island some 4,000 years ago is pretty amazing. That's well into the Holocene period. Somewhere around 6,000 to 7,000 years after mammoths disappeared from Siberia, Beringia, and North America, and a few hundred years after the ancient Egyptians built the Great Pyramid at Giza. That said, the extinction of the Wrangell mammoths was fairly abrupt and without signs of prior decline, according to the new paper. The purpose of the new study was to wrap up what happened to the Wrangell Island mammoths. In this end, the researchers studied an isotopic analysis of mammoth remains, which they did to gain a better understanding of the ecology at Wrangell Island at the time of the mammoth extinction. This analysis involved carbon, nitrogen, and sulfur isotopes, and it showed what the mammoth diet was like at the time. In total, the researchers analyzed 77 mammoth specimens from Wrangell Island, Beringia, and the lower latitudes of Eurasia. Along with the remains of mammoths from St. Paul Island, these specimens dated from 40,000 to 4,000 years ago. Data wrapped from the Wrangell mammoths suggests their island habitat was just fine at the time of their extinction. Consequently, the suggestion that these mammoths went extinct because of gradual environmental degradation and the subsequent reduction in quality and quantity of their food does not hold up to the new evidence. Something else must have happened, that something else may have something to do with their extended isolation on the island. Recent genetic research into the Wrangell mammoths shows that they lacked genetic diversity and were susceptible to inbreeding. Compared to their 40,000-year-old Siberian forebears, the Wrangell mammoths exhibited a significant number of gene deletions, retrogenes, and other genetic anomalies which, although not lethal, may have diminished the survival capacity of an already struggling population, according to the paper. Importantly, geneticists have linked many of these gene deletions to the mammoth's ability to metabolize fat An observation corroborated in the new study. Carbon isotopic analysis of the Wrangell mammoths showed stark differences between the fats and carbohydrates in the diets of Wrangell mammoths compared to their earlier Siberian counterparts. This suggests that the Wrangell mammoths were less adapted to tolerate extreme cold conditions. 
Hey, we think this reflects the tendency of Siberian mammoths to rely on their reserves of fat to survive through extremely harsh ice age winters, while wrangle mammoths living in milder conditions simply did not need to, explained ARPPE in a University of Helsinki press release. Rock weathering was another factor raised in the new paper. The increased precipitation on Wrangell Island during the Holocene caused toxic chemicals such as sulfide, base metals, copper, and antimony ores to be flushed out from the rocks on the island's central mountains, which the researchers observed as traces of sulfur and strontium in the mammoth remains. Poor access to clean fresh water didn't cause the mammoths to go extinct, but like their diminished DNA, it certainly didn't help, according to the paper. Despite these hardships, there is no evidence to suggest the Wrangell mammoths. As noted, their disappearance happened quite suddenly. To explain their quick extinction, the researchers argue that this genetically weakened population, one possibly made even weaker by poisoned water, one possibility is a phenomenon known as rain on snow, in which an impenetrable frozen layer of snow makes it impossible for herbivores to graze on plants underneath as irrelevant aside. This actually happened on the Norwegian archipelago of Svalbard this past winter, killing more than 200 reindeer. A single rain on snow event that broke the camel's back on Wrangell Island, reducing the mammoth population to an irrecoverable degree. The Wrangell mammoths were deemed unlikely by the researchers but they did not out of it. The earliest archaeological evidence of humans on Wrangell Island dates to around 3,650 to 3,350 years ago, which is several hundreds of years after the mammoths were gone. These humans survived by hunting marine mammals and geese, and there's no evidence they hunted mammoths. That said, the idea of prehistoric hunters visiting the island and encountering mammoths cannot be excluded on the grounds of absence of archaeological evidence. As probabilities of finding such evidence is low, authors the authors wrote, adding that future research should focus on this possibility, regardless. The end of the mammoths was all but assured by this point. With the Ice Age firmly in the rearview mirror in much of the mammoth step replaced by lush forests and marauding humans. These majestic beasts bid farewell to a world.